Whoa! Shikoku's Ehime Prefecture! Wait, what did you say? Actually, we're in Onomichi in Hiroshima Prefecture. Huh? Why are we still in Hiroshima? Because... To walk to Ehime Prefecture from Honshu, you have to take the Nishi Seto Expressway from Onomichi to Imabari. Uh, yeah, right. Man, Yuki, you sure know a lot! <laughs> anyway, it's almost night. Let's camp here and get an early start tomorrow. Yeah. After all, the Nishi Seto Expressway is 60 kilometers long. like earthquakes are more frequent here. Did you know? The great earthquake swarm that began around the world five years ago. There's a theory it was caused by an earthquake weapon developed by some country. I wonder if that's actually true. In any case, the earthquakes caused tons of damage around the world. I think Jenu's older sister was a victim during that time. I wonder if that also has something to do with everyone disappearing from the cities. All these weird things happening. I've got a bad feeling about it all. Huh? I bet we can find some oysters at the beach there. Wanna go with me later? Oysters? Yeah, in a shell. You know I'm right? Oysters make you stronger. It's why they call them muscles. I think you mean muscles, no? Ah, yeah, that's right. Anyway, let's eat some. It's good for the love life. Give me a break! Yeah, I know. You and me are good friends now. So it's not her that's taking me off. But what's up with the way Kansai is acting? Why is he only inviting Yuki? If he's a leader, shouldn't he be treating everyone equally? That's why I say he's no leader. He's nothing like Neon, the leader he tries so hard to be like. was the coach of Kansai's baseball team. Some guy in his mid-twenties. Kansai really admires him. I used to go see them play every now and then. So that's how I know about Neon. The reason Kansai wants to be a leader so bad is because he wants to be like Neon. But it's a waste of time. No matter how hard he tries, he'll never come close to Neon. A delightful view. Why do we gotta go chasing after Anaki and those guys anyway? Who does he think he is? It really ticks me off. The old Anaki wasn't a total jerk like he is now. All right, you're a transfer student, Rachel, so you wouldn't know. Aniki used to be really nice and generous, too. The guy had everyone's respect, and he was like a big bro to everyone. But about a year ago, something bad happened, and Aniki totally changed. Sorry, but I don't want to talk about it anymore. It hurts to even remember. For me, he was like my best friend. Wow, 
what a view! My dad would really love to see this. He loves to travel. Going around the world with him to see all the beautiful sights. Those are like my best memories as a kid. But after this one day, he never set foot outside of his lab. Oh, didn't I tell you? My father was a scientist. Oh, not was. I mean, he is a scientist. If he is still alive, that is. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have said all that. I'm ruining everyone's mood. We still got time before dark. How about we head into the city and camp there? Sure. It's okay with me. Wait. Just to be sure, can anyone else see that? Huh? That thing floating in the sky shaped like a big X? What? An X? I thought so. Maybe you're seeing some type of mirage. You mean you can't see it either, Yuki? N no. Hmm. So it's got nothing to do with you. Huh. To do with me? No. I was just thinking. Maybe you came down from that X in the sky. The sky was cloudy then. So I thought maybe the X was hidden behind the clouds. Anyway, it was just a thought. <sighs> You're just tired, Pochi. You should get to sleep early. But... Anyways, I'm going to go ahead. See you all later. Okay, we better go too, huh? Yeah. Oh, now that you mention it, hearing about the X Helped me remember. This. X equals 12? What does that mean? I'm afraid I don't know. I found it in my pocket. Hmm. X equals 12. <laughs> This might be really important. Hey! Come on, slowpokes! Hurry! Or the Maple Manchu Monster will come out! Maple Manchu Monster? Beats me, but let's get out of here. Yes, it sounds scary. X equals 12. Do you know what that means, Rachel? Remember the note Yuki had? Do you think the X has something to do with the X in the sky? And the 12. Does it mean there's a total of 12 of those X's? 
Is something going to happen if all 12 appear? 12. You know, there are 12 members of the Go-Getters Club now. Now that we've added Yuki, that is. Hmm. Well, we're not going to be able to solve this code with just this scrap of paper. We need to find other clues. I told you my dad used to love traveling, right? Well, I remembered something else. I remembered why he stopped traveling and wouldn't leave his lab. We were in the middle of a trip. We were on some island in the South Pacific. There was a sudden big earthquake and a few hundred people died. Luckily, my dad and me were safe. Anyway, Dad looked at the wreckage and the dead bodies being carried away, and he muttered, Mankind is so fragile. We need some kind of perfect intelligence to guide us, or we're finished as a species. After that, he locked himself away in his lab. I guess he wanted to make something for the world. And he sacrificed everything. But seeing the world like this, I guess his research must have failed. From what I see, Yuki's memory disorder is what's called general amnesia. It's a memory disorder that makes you forget your name and past. Ah, oh, that typical where am I, who am I thing you see in manga and anime, right? Yeah, I guess you can say it's different than Pi's memory loss. Pi only forgot about who was behind the game of fate. But patients with general amnesia forget all memories about themselves. She didn't forget common social behavior sense and general information, so it doesn't affect her daily life. And I've read that most of them eventually get their memories back. So, let's just treat her normally and not worry too much. Remember the snow that came down around Akiyoshidai National Park in Yamaguchi? I mean, the actual snow, not Yuki. Snow in the middle of summer is downright bizarre, right? But in ancient times, they talked lots about weird things coming down from the sky. Fish, frogs, tadpoles, insects, plants, metal. They call that phenomenon Fafrotskis. There's even records of rains of giant ice balls from the sky. So I guess it's kind of like that. They're all abnormal situations that can't be explained logically. But that might just be the start. Soon, even scarier things might come raining down. Nostradamus's prophecy, from the sky will come a great king of terror. Maybe the people disappearing and all these monsters appearing are omens of that. Could this mean the end of the world? Mr. Rachel, is it true that I fell from the sky? Oh, I see. At first, I thought you were all just teasing me. But if you say it, Mr. Rachel, still, I can't understand how a person could be flying in the sky. Speaking of flying, Miss Chuko told me about people that have dreams about flying. She said people who dream they're flying want to become free. I don't have any memories from before I met you all. But the one thing I do know is that I'm having so much fun. Like I said before, I think I always...
always wanted friends. Maybe I was really lonely and had a life with no freedom at all. And I hated it so much that I escaped and flew away to find you all. that attacked us earlier. What is a yeti anyways? A yeti is a cryptid, a mythical animal rumored to live in mountains and other snowy regions. There have been reported sightings of them all over the world, but their name varies by region. In the Himalayas, they call it yeti. In the Rocky Mountains, it's Bigfoot. Around here, in the Chugoku mountainous regions, they call it Hibago. Wow! Mr. Tatsun, you're so smart! Well, I got interested in it from the Electro Rangers, and then I started to read about the occult a little. Why do you think it was trying to capture Mr. Pochi and me? Maybe it wanted to eat you? Do yetis eat humans? I... I don't know. We don't know much about them. Maybe it was trying to take you as a wife. But Mr. Pochi is a boy. Then maybe it wanted you guys as slaves. I was thinking... Maybe the yeti wanted a friend too. Only two of them alone in the mountains. So maybe they wanted friends to play with. I feel like if we meet them again, we could be friends. <sighs> Yuki, if everyone was like you, I bet there wouldn't be any more wars. some kind of accident that totally changed Mr. Aniki. Rachel only transferred a year and a half ago, so he doesn't know about it. As for the rest of us, none of us really wants to talk about it. Oh, I I'm sorry. It sounds like it was really terrible. Everyone blames themselves. They all think it was their fault. The reason he became the way he is now. Oh? Anyway, let's stop talking about it. I just want to forget. Man, since we woke up in that theme park, things have been nuts! But the nuttiest thing is the power you guys have now! Rachel Chuck stuff hardcore. Mochan turns to iron. Chuko shoots fire from her mouth. What's the deal? Are you like cyborgs now or something? But what really gets me is why don't I have any powers? Just wait, Rachel. When I get my powers, they're gonna blow yours away. Boy, I wonder how Neon's doing. I just wish I could ask him how he'd handle all this. Whoa, hey! Rachel, where'd you come from? Huh? I must respect Neon a lot. Darn straight! Now he's a real man! A leader among leaders! He's fair to all his friends, Forgiving, but tough enough to push people to be the best they can. No matter how bad things got, no matter how lost I was, Neon always saved me. We may be apart now, but... I made a promise to myself. By the time I see him next, I'm gonna be as good a man as he is. That's why, Rachel, 
That's why I'm never gonna let you beat me! while we were sleeping in the amusement park. What if everyone evacuated to another country? No, it couldn't be. If there was a giant earthquake, the town would be a wreck, right? That makes this whole thing even creepier. It's bugging out, dude. So, what's going on? Um, well, I was wondering if we could reach the Oicha group somehow. So, I tried adjusting the walkie-talkie's frequency, and then... Well, just listen. like anyone from the Oita group. No way! That means... Right! There are others out there besides us! There are still other people! Is this really right? It's right. The radio waves are getting stronger. But there's no sign of anyone around. We did meet some deer and wild boars along the way, though. We haven't been able to contact the Oita group. Ehime covers a wide area. They would have to specify their exact location. Otherwise, it would be impossible to meet up with them. Isn't that why we are searching for whoever was communicating over the radio earlier? Well, we just have to trust Tatsun for now. Who... who are you guys? Ah, no face! He's just wearing a mask. Anyways, he seems to be human. Human? Human? Human! 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 I can't believe it. We're not the only survivors. Huh? Come along now. I'll introduce you to our master. Master? Let's just go. Hey, wait a second. The people over there... Could ask you the same thing. What are you doing here? We got your message. You said that you were heading to Ehime, didn't you? Shuko, are you doing all right? Yeah, as you can see, we're all perky as ever. What happened to your lips? Why do they look swollen? Oh, yeah, <laughs> that. Well, a lot happened. Yoro! Oh, no! 
Huh? What's the big deal? Whoa! It's the real Nyoro! She even smells like Nyoro! Um, can you not treat me like a piece of food? You guys are all safe. Yeah! Somehow! I was almost kidnapped by a roly-poly on the way here. A roly-poly? So, Kansai, are you gonna go through with it? Huh? 100 kicks. You said you'll give Aniki 100 kicks, didn't you? Uh, no, Tatsun. You didn't hear me properly. What I meant to say was 100 kisses. 100... Kisses? Aniki! Aniki! Oh, no! Please stop! You're creeping me out! <laughs> um, by the way, who is this girl? Yuki. She suddenly came floating down from the sky in Yamaguchi Prefecture. From the sky? Kansai, they won't believe us. Oh, yeah, I guess, huh? Anyway, we met her along the way. Because she lost her memory, we decided to take her along with us. Nice to meet all of you. My name is Yuki. I hope we can all... She, she's, she's so, so cute! cute. <clears throat> Are you done chatting? I'll take you to the master now. Come with me. <laughs>